Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Haik. I'm quality engineer at Red Hat, working there for almost eight years. I'm currently working on a Kiali project, testing it. And today I'm going to present you the Kiali project as an observability console for Istio. Uh, how many of you are familiar with Istio or heard about? Quite, quite much nice people. Awesome. Uh, so uh, let's let's have a brief introduction of microservices and Istio, and then move to Kiali. So uh, industry is moving from big uh, monolithic applications to uh, in, into smaller units called microservices uh, deployed into containers. The main idea is to split the big services into the smaller ones uh, with independent lifecycle workloads deployment pipeline. And the container technology technologies is coming uh, to provide this model. Uh, but, but it increases the number of elements to communicate also to address how to discover, connect, and communicate between them. Kubernetes and OpenShift are great in managing containers, but there are additional needs, such as configurable smart routing. Let's say you want to configure your routing between different versions of your application. And for instance, fault injection strategies, load balancing, circuit breaker. And in a case when there is a chain of service calls, uh, and between the chain there is a failure, the, the first service should be failed in the right beginning. And here is when service mesh enters the stage to extend this, uh, extend the container platform, providing all of these capabilities into a transparent way to service deployed. Istio is one of the service mesh implementations and its architecture is, uh, Istio actually is based on the Envoy sidecar, which is called Envoy Proxy which is integrated into the pod and is, and is providing the information about the inbound and outbound traffic of your service. It has several components such as pilot, which is for uh, service discovery. It has mixer for policy checks, telemetry, uh, and also it's, it's a citadel for authentication and security. So, uh, Istio core features are, are to configure the traffic to your services. So, let's say you have uh, several versions of the services and you want to distribute the traffic between the, them. For instance, you have a canary version, uh, the new version of your service, you want to deploy it uh, in, in your mesh and you want to have maximum 5% traffic going there. So, you configure it via uh, the De destination rules and virtual services of East, which are core Istio config configuration objects and you specify the 5% maximum going to that canary version. If it fails, uh, the rest of the traffic will, be, will go to the previous versions. And also, uh, for your users, you can configure uh, traffic based on their user agent, logged in user, uh, by, by different browser parameters, so let's say your or new, new supported browser you, you want to uh, deploy and s some of your users with that browsers will be shipped to that particular version of your application. Uh, to sum up the Istio core features, there are traffic management, uh, control the traffic flow between uh, services, security, uh, which is underlying in a communication channel be between your services, observability for tracing, monitoring, logging. Uh, Istio is platform independent and its components are highly integratable and customizable and can be customized. So, and one of Istio core components is Kiali, uh, which is the UI observability for, for Istio. And it answers several questions to users like, what your Microsoft services are doing, how they are conf configured, how they are connected. And Kiali has its architecture. Uh, it has front-end and back-end. Uh, back-end 
A front end is communicating to back end via REST API. Back end itself is communicating via API to Istio and it communicates to external services such as Prometheus where the matrix data is stored, con connects to cluster API of your OpenShift to gain the, gain the information about your uh, services, pods, ports, and other information. Also, as Istio can, can come with uh, optional services such as Jaeger for tracing and Grafana uh, for, the, for dashboards uh, for Prometheus. So Kiali is also integrated into these services and can, can show the, the UI as an integrated component ins inside the Kiali UI. So let's go to Kiali main features. Uh, the, the main, one of main core features is the graph, uh, which, which shows the structure uh, of your service mesh with all the services, statuses, and also the graph itself can show the traffic animation of your services, the traffic flows. So if you, if you configure the traffic, uh, in, inside your service mesh, it will be shown here. If some some of services is down, it will be shown as well that traffic is not flowing to, to this service. Uh, Kiali itself uh, has a functionality to show the objects uh, inside your service mesh, such as applications. And applications are the uh, are ge general ap applications of. Which, which, provide, which are providing service in your service mesh. And it, it, lists, it, it, is, at least it is in filter state, you, you can filter, you can order, sort them, and also uh, it displays the health of particular application. Uh, via tooltip, it, it shows the detailed health of each pod of this application, and the, those, those pods are ba basically the, the versions. In, and, fit, and those those versions are described here in a list of workloads. With, with also, it comes with the status and, and health of each workload. So if one of the pod fails or traffic is not going to, to your to that particular version of your service, it it shows the notification that uh, the service is down. And it also, of course, shows the whole health of your service. And it, it lists the service with namespaces, which are, which are projects, it, it can be filtered. And it also shows the health of that service's configuration. Uh, each service details can, comes with more detailed information. Uh, such as the, the metrics, uh, in, inbound or outbound metrics, detailed metrics of, the, of this service. And here is the built-in dashboard, which is inside the Kiali, but Kiali also provides a opportunity feature to customize and custom build the dashboard and deploy it into, the, into Kiali. Uh, Kiali list, list the configuration files for Istio. And here uh, comes the one more feature of Kiali, which is called Istio config validation. So if, if you break the Istio, Istio configuration, which means that traffic will not flow to a particular service, Kiali will no notice the user that particular configuration is broken, so there is a there is a validation functionality. Uh, another another feature which Kiali is providing is integrated traces. So Jaeger UI as an iframe is integrated inside the Kiali UI, so user basically can go and search information uh, for for particular service in a particular names, namespace and see, 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 see the traces and also directly can link from here to the Jaeger UI and see more detailed information about that service traces. Istio, and to, to, to sum up this UI of Kiali, so 
Kiali sum up all the information it is showing about your service mesh in, a, in an overview, overview page. So it lists all the namespaces with the health of names, namespaces, with uh, the status of configuration, and you can, you can, search, you can search the health by service, or, or also by applications and workloads in the single page. And this page contains the links to details, more detailed information of all these objects. Uh, traffic routing. Service details also shows information about uh, the traffic routing to that service, uh, which is done via uh, Istio config configuration objects. And it provides a way to, do, to actually do that configuration of that routing via its wizard. So, as I said, uh, there, there is a functionality to control the traffic, filter it by some parameters like headers, schema methods, uh, user agent, and so on. So Kiali uh, gives this opportunity, this functionality to configure that traffic via, via matching, matching routing. Also, of course, uh, you can configure the flow to your microservices uh, via the, the weighted, via the weight of the traffic flow. So let's say you have, you have three, three versions uh, of your service. You can distribute the traffic flow by percentages by, uh, between, this, uh, be, between these versions. And uh, while running those, uh, those services, uh, the traffic can be suspended. So you can check which, pick which versions of your microservice uh, can be suspended and which can remain. Uh, uh, Kiali also provides uh, I'm sorry, uh, pro provides direct way to configure the Istio change, Istio configuration via YAML editor. So directly you can here, here uh, from, the, from this page, when all the Istio configurations are list, uh, those configuration objects are clickable and it goes to the de detailed YAML configuration editor for that particular configuration. And it comes with validation. So if you break the configuration, the Kiali will validate and it will notice the user that some subset, something, some gateway, some host or port uh, is not found and user will be noticed. So to sum up Kiali core features is first we talked about the graph, uh, which is the powerful way to visualize the topology of your service mesh. So it, it, it can visualize uh, one or many service meshes in a time. Also, uh, also it comes with metrics, with metrics dashboards for, uh, to visualize uh, metrics to particular service, or, or also in a, in a level of application and workload as well. Uh, configurations, when via wizard, uh, Kiali can be, uh, can configure the, the traffic and it, and it comes with validations. So all, all the common Istio objects are validated via Kiali and it uses the Galay component uh, to validate those objects. So that was all from my side. We have, uh, here are uh, con my, my contacts and also uh, uh, Kiali and Istio websites and to links to the GitHub projects, both are open source projects driven by community. So that's it from my side. Uh, now it's time for questions. Yeah. Uh, 
so the question was if Kiali is going to support Leak, Leak or, or any other or any other project. So, but uh, actually, Kiali is based on the Istio. Any other questions? Istio, as well as Kiali, are already available. Uh, they, they are released by Red Hat in a scope of OpenShift service mesh. So, so, the, so the question was the, whether Istio is still a community project or it is released? It's generally available and supported. Yes. So it's generally, Istio is generally available and supported and it's called OpenShift, OpenShift service mesh by Red Hat. Yes. Uh, so question is, uh, in what way Kiali and Istio are going to be uh, extended to visualize, uh, to manage the services on Kubernetes? Outside, Outside of the Kubernetes. Is that from the Kubernetes? Uh, 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 currently, uh, they are tied to Kubernetes, but uh, there, there are plans to, to extend it to hybrid clouds. Uh, is, the question was, is there any work uh, around to release uh, OKD, OKD version 4? So, not, not for now. So, okay, so that's it. Thank you very much.